Hi, I'm Jason Michaels, and today you are going to do the magic. Yes, most days I do the magic. Most days I'm doing shows or different types of performances, and I share the magic with you. But today, you get to do the magic and amaze not only yourself, but hopefully all your family and friends as well. So, what you need in order to do today's mystery is a deck of cards. So, pause this video for just a moment, find a deck of cards, come back, and then restart the video. Go ahead, pause it right now. All right, so we're back. And you've got your deck of cards. So, take your deck of cards, turn them face up so that you can see the faces of the cards. They're looking right at you. And we don't need the entire deck of cards for this. We're only going to use 11 cards. So go ahead and right now, I want you to deal down uh, face up so that you can see all the different cards, 11 cards into a small stack on the table. I'll do it with you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. Once you've done that, you can get rid of the rest of the deck. It is not important anymore. 11 is the magic number, and you'll see why in just a second. So, you have a stack of 11 cards here, and what we're going to do is we're going to try to focus on one of those. We're going to try to lock one in as though you were concentrating on a face in the crowd. Now, I don't want you to just pick one. Follow my instructions, and we'll do this in a random manner. Uh, so let's take the cards, and I want you to deal one, leave the cards face up so that you are actually looking at them, and deal one face up onto the table. And now I want you to deal another one to the right of that card. And you're going to continue back and forth uh, like you would deal a hand of poker, so that you alternate back and forth, left, then right, until you deal all of the cards out. Now. You do have an odd number of cards in your stack, so one of these piles is going to have one extra, and that's fine. Now, you've got two different stacks here. We're going to think of one of the cards in one of these stacks. It's completely up to you. You pick the stack that you want to use. You may have even been looking at the cards as you were dealing them down, and if so, that's fine. Uh, pick up either stack, the stack that you want to use, fan those cards out so that you can see them, and concentrate on one. But let's make this a little bit difficult. I want to make this a little more interesting so that it's not easy for me. So whatever stack you picked up, do me a favor. Do not start thinking of the card that is on the face of the pack. Don't look at the card that is, you can see all of it because that's an obvious card. And another obvious card would be the card that is all the way on the very back. So don't think of the very back card. Don't think of the very face card. But think of one of the cards somewhere in the middle. Once you have that, Take a really good look at it, lock it in your brain, and let's move on. Square all those cards up. Take the packet in your hand, drop it onto the pack that is still on the table, pick all of those cards up, and square them up like so. Now, we're going to go back through the cards. We're going to alternate like we did just a moment ago. Don't change the position of any of the cards. Don't do a thing. All you're going to do is just one at a time deal cards back and forth, face up so that you can see them. Let's do that now. Do it with me. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now, as you were dealing through there, I don't know if maybe you recognized your card or not. You may not have been paying attention. So what I want you to do is I want you to pick up either one of the stacks. If you know which stack your card is in, pick up that stack. If you're not sure which stack it is in, pick up either of the stacks. Fan those cards so that you can see them and try to find your card. If your card is not in that stack, pick up the other stack so that you can fan those cards out and see them. I want you to be holding the stack with your card in it. Again, I want you to burn that card that you're thinking of, whatever the card is from the very beginning, I want you to burn it into your mind. I want you to really look at it really hard and lock it in so that when you see it again, there's no question about it. You'll be able to recognize that face in the crowd. Square up all the cards that you're holding. You're holding the packet with your card in it. Drop those cards on top of the cards that are still on the table and square those up. Now, this is pretty random. We've thought of one card. We've dealt cards back and forth. We even maybe spotted our card as we dealt them back and forth. Psychologically, 
you have 11 cards there. I've found that this is the best number that you can still recognize one and without it getting completely lost in the crowd. So we're going to actually do it one more time. We're going to deal through the cards again, and I want you to really focus, really pay attention. This time I want you to know for sure which pile your card initially falls into. So let's do that one more time. We're going to deal the cards back and forth one more time. Focus and watch where your card goes. All right, do you know which stack it's in? If you do, go ahead and pick that stack up, spread the cards out so that you can see them, spot your card, make sure it is actually there, make sure you didn't, you know, miss see something. Once you've got it, make sure you know that it's there, square all those cards up, drop them onto the table, face up, don't change the position of any of the cards. Now, granted, I don't know what card you're thinking of. I didn't see the card as it passed by. As you were spotting that face in the crowd, I couldn't see it because I'm on this side. I'm not over there where you are. You're looking at all these different cards. I want you to square the cards up on the table, pick them up. Focus on your card. It would be impossible for me to tell you anything about your card. I didn't have you reach out and pick a card. I had you merely to start thinking of one. I don't even know where your card is. I didn't know which stack it was in. There's no way for me to know that. Concentrate on the card that you've been thinking of this entire time. Look at the stack of cards in your hand. You're looking at the face of the stack. And I can tell from, I can tell already that that, that card that you're looking at right now, that's not your card. Go ahead and take that card, just drop it on the table. That's not your card. In fact, as you glimpse the next card in the stack, that's not your card either, I can tell. Go ahead and drop that one on the table as well. Take a good look at that next card in your hand. No, that's not your card. Drop that on the table. Uh, the three cards on the table, none of those cards are your card. Take a look at the card in your hand, the card on the face of the pack. Oh, you recognize that card, don't you? That's because that card, the card that you're holding right now on that stack, the face card of that pack, that's your friend. Your friend in the crowd. That's the card you've been thinking of this entire time. Hey, my name is Jason Michaels. I hope you've enjoyed this. Make sure you keep coming back and check out my blog where we post all sorts of great stuff from me performing my sleight of hand mysteries to my corporate entertainment to my full-blown performing arts center illusion show. And we even do magic that you can do for your friends and family. Come check out my website, jasonmichaelsmagic.com. Always take a look at the blog to see what's new, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.